Hey guys, this is Audrey Lolita Terry coming up in out of Austin, Texas with another word for you. And the word is never tell all. I'm going to say that again. Never tell all. Some of us are talking too much. We telling too much. And the Lord want to bless us, but he can't bless us because you got your enemies that you're talking to standing right there ready to destroy you. The father said, I want to give you the blessing, but I want you to just be quiet. The father's speaking to somebody. Mm. Pray with me. Father God, I come into prayer. Lord God, just thank you because of who you are. Lord God, I just bless your holy name because you are worthy of all the praises and all the honor, Lord. And Lord, right now, I just ask, Lord, that you will stand up and speak, Father. Let it be your voice is heard, not mine. And I command my flesh to stand out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, if there is any covenants that I may have made with the enemy, normally or unknowingly, I break that covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus. Lord God, because my covenant is with you, Father. And Lord God, I pray that those that have eyes will see. Take the scales off their eyes. Lord, let those that have ears hear because you said my sheep shall know my voice and a stranger's voice that will not follow. Have your way in Jesus' mighty name. I am praying. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. The Father gave me this word. Never tell all. Mm. Peace, be quiet. In the name of Jesus, I said, peace, be quiet. Mm. Well, woman of God, where do that come from? I don't see that in the Bible. It's in an ALT translation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Some of us, we talking too much. We running our mouth too much. And we blocking our own blessings. Mm. But some of you, the people that you talking to and you telling your blessings, you think are for you and they're not for you. Okay? And, and you talking out of excitement. Okay? But the Lord is asking you to just be quiet. Thank you, Father. And I got scripture going back up what I'm saying. Mm, loose lips sink ships. Some of us are, are sinking our own ships and don't even realize that we're sinking our own ships. We're delaying our own blessings with our mouth. Our mouth. Okay? And this is what Proverbs 10, 14 say about us running our mouth too much. The wise don't tell everything. They know, but the foolish talk too much and are ruining. You ruin everything with your mouth. Running your mouth. Just running your mouth. Thank you, Father. Proverbs 10, verse 19. If you talk a lot, you are sure, sure to sin. I'm going to say that one more time. If you talk a lot, you are sure to sin. If you are wise, you will keep quiet. Mm, some of you are about to, to, to come into your breakthrough. Okay, some of you about to get married. Some of you are building house, homes, houses as I speak. Okay, you're, you're coming to your blessing. Some of you are being quiet and that's the wise thing to do. Some of you done got engaged secretly and nobody know that. That's the wise, things to, the wise thing to do. You want to be quiet. Mm, you want to be quiet. Mm. The Lord speaking to somebody. This going to bless somebody in the mighty name of Jesus because some of us are talking too much, okay? Some of us are talking too much and some of us, we not telling. And that's the wise thing to do, especially nowadays, okay? We dealing with a whole lot of wicked, evil spirit in this time and people don't want to see you get ahead. People don't want to see you be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. And some of them are the, the main people that, that right, that's right up on you, think up for you. And they not for you. The ones you you looking at that, that you think is against you, not against you. They can't even do nothing to you because you keep them at a distance. It's the ones right around you that you talking to too much. Never tell all. I don't even tell my daughter everything. Okay? And we're close. I don't even tell her everything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. And for those of you that are married, okay, that, that, that's different because you're supposed to be as one. You should be as one. Okay? So you shouldn't have nothing hidden. From your, your spouse, your husband. I'm talking about the husband. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about your husband. Okay, there, there shouldn't be nothing hidden from your husband or your wife. Okay, that's a, that's a whole nother story. If you're not equally yoked, that's something different. That's a whole nother story. But you should be equally yoked. And you're supposed to be as one. Okay, so you don't want to be hiding nothing. 
okay, from your spouse. Thank you, Father. We want to be quiet. I pray that this little message bless whomever it's supposed to bless because that was just in my spirit so strong. Like somebody else need to hear this. And I learned a long time ago, never tell all. Never tell all. Be quiet. There's some things that God have revealed to me for me to keep to myself. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And some of us just be itching. We want to tell it. But the Father is, is urging you to be quiet. To be quiet. Mm. Let them continue to think what they're thinking. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Mm. Some of you, like I say, about to get married. You done been secretly engaged and you just been keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> Praise God. To God be the glory and all the honor. Some of us going to learn. And we got to learn the hard way. But our blessings keep getting delayed and delayed, delayed. The father keeps saying, be quiet. And you just itching. You keep telling it. You keep, but you, and you, when you tell it, you tell it to the wrong people. Mm. That's what's destroying you. You're destroying your own self with your mouth. Mm. Peace, be quiet. Check out the ALT translation in the mighty name of Jesus. You guys be blessed. Until next time, I love you. Bye.